Hello, this is Justice Micah narrating Excel Chapter 4. And to start off this worksheet, we're going to go ahead and bold the entire worksheet. Click uh, the little arrow there in the corner and press the bold button. And next we're going to type of quite a large amount of information, I guess. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and merge and center this over the columns B through E. You select columns B through E and then just press merge and center. Apply the title cell style to the uh, the text there and we're going to resize the first column here and uh, resize the second column going to go ahead and type in some information here notice how I put the date in B2 and uh, the actual date number form in C2 okay and the next thing we're going to do is going to go and format this to uh, look a bit different. So head over to the number tab under the format cells and we're going to scroll down until we find this format right here, 14 Mar 2001. And it should pop up just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and type in the rest of the information. A few typos here and there, sorry about that. That's what the finished product should look like. Not totally finished, but just for this part. We're going to resize column A to a smaller uh, size. And then notice how I re renamed the sheet title and we're going to recolor it. And basically what you have to do is just right click that and press tab color. You choose any color you want. And uh, we're going to go ahead and I believe format this cell uh, area. We're going to make a border around it, and we're going to choose the medium style border uh, line. Press the outline button, and then press the light uh, line color, and press the vertical bar. Head over to the fill tab, choose a background color, doesn't matter which one, and it should end up looking like this. And you have the vertical low, uh, lines in the center here, threes. All right, and now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight the following cells. Uh, make sure you hold control while you do it, and format the cells again. Head over to the number tab. Uh, the currency, uh, select the second format option and press OK. Okay, we're going to type in some in more information here. Uh, looks like a. Yeah, there we go. All right. Type in some numbers. And you already have your. Uh, formulas on there so it's okay and now the next thing I'll be doing right here is you select the following ranges and you press create from selection under the formulas tab in order to assign uh, the the cells in the C column and right now in the E column the names uh, that correspond in the B and D column and we're going to type in a formula here and that number should pop up in the format. We're going to type another function here. This one's a PMT function. This one's quite long, so bear with me. Okay, and then we should have two more functions. And these are just total uh, total cells for the, the information you just inputted, so they're they're pretty short. And it looks like I typed it in there wrong, so just press an OK, and good thing about Excel is it corrects it for you, so that's pretty nice. Except it can't correct marriages, though. Anyway, going to type in another formula here. And that is the number that should pop up. All right, and the next thing that's going to happen is we're going to type in, uh, uh, just alter the information just a bit so that way you can see how the formulas uh, change according to the, uh, the information you input. And when you formatted the cells earlier, when you, you picked the second option for the currency style, it, uh, it shows negative numbers in red. So that's why those popped up. And we're going to change the percent here, change the numbers around just a bit more. And that's pretty much how you calculate a price for a Prius right there. And we're going to change uh, all the information back to a home because we're going to add a few more charts.
All right, now that we have all the information changed back, we're gonna go ahead and add a few more uh, charts here. And this one is going to be called interest rate schedule. And so uh, select cell B1, press the format painter button on the home tab and go ahead and click B7. And that's how you format that cell title. Input the rest of the column headings right there that you, you're seeing right now. We're gonna resize the the, the row, row size here just a bit so that way it fits nice and snug. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna enter uh, some information here. And the next one should be in 0.25 increment, I believe, yes. And so the next step is we're gonna highlight both of those cells in the bottom right corner right there where the, the arrow pops up for the, the little crosshairs, it's the fill handle. So we're gonna go ahead and drag that down to the 23rd cell, and that goes from 4.5 to 7.75%. Uh, we're gonna type in some formulas here. And in just a second, we will apply the fill handle uh, method again to the, to the rest of these, these cells. So we're going to select the region, and we're going to go ahead and format this. But first, we're going to do a uh, what-if analysis. We're going to press the data table button. And for um, you don't have to worry about the row input cell, but for the column uh, input cell here, we're going to go ahead and insert this following. Uh, this following? No. The following. You click E2 and press OK. And you should get a chart that looks just like this. Now we're going to format the cells to uh, put a border around it. We're going to do the same thing as earlier, except this time we're going to go ahead and put a thick border around it. Excuse me, I put a medium border around it. And uh, put a light a vertical line in the center. And that will divide the columns up nice and evenly. And, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. We're gonna go ahead and put a background color for this chart as well. And you may choose any color. Now for the top bar, we're gonna format this. Um, go over to the Home tab and go to the Cell Styles. Preferably, you go to the Cell Styles and press the, uh, the Subtotal button, but in this case, they want you to put an actual black border underneath. And so you click, you click the borders button on the home tab. And now we're going to format the following region and the currency. We're going to put none as the symbol and choose the second option. And this is what the finished product should look like so far. Now we're going to format these uh, cells with the conditional formatting located on the home tab. We're going to click the format cells that contain option in the selector rule type. And we're going to head to the Format tab. We're going to head to the Fill button. Pick any color. Head over to the Font tab. We're going to press the um, Color button and select White. And as for this, we are finished. So click OK and OK again. Notice the, the cell that is highlighted green. That is what you just did. So now we're going to change around some of the information just to show you how this works, okay, well, it looks like the video ended, so uh, thank you for watching, and check out part two.